Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will review how to use the Specimen Insertion Utility in WinTest DMA Software version 8. The Specimen Insertion panel contains controls for monitoring and adjusting the system in preparation for the test. The current displacement and load sensor readings will be displayed here. For systems with temperature control accessories, the current temperature will also be displayed in this section. To command a desired displacement, load, or temperature, we can use the radio buttons in this section. Manually type the desired value and click the Ramp to button. This will engage the adaptive controller and bring the actuator to the desired position, load value, or temperature. The Mover Power button is also located within this section. Let's go over an example of how to use the specimen insertion utility while setting up a three-point bend test. After positioning my sample in the lower support points, we tear the load channel to offset the sample's weight. Then using the electric lift, we bring the crosshead upwards until the sample is very close to the upper fixture. Using the radio buttons, I select load, type a desired preload value, and click on the ramp to button. This will engage the adaptive controller and the motor will apply the desired compressive load. Notice that the current load is displayed in blue font, which means that the adaptive controller is maintaining a commanded load value. If the test requires of temperature control, this is a good time to close the chamber door and command to the desired temperature. The sample will be allowed to contract or expand due to the temperature change while the adaptive controller maintains the small contact load. However, if we close the initial gap with a displacement command, the controller will maintain a fixed position, potentially overloading the sample or losing contact with the sample while it undergoes thermal expansion or contraction. For fixtures that mechanically clamp onto the sample, such as tension grips, the tightening of the grips onto the sample may induce compressive load or a slight buckling of the sample. To make sure we correctly eliminate this clamping load artifact, we can mount the sample onto the lower fixture first, tear the weight of the sample, tighten the upper clamp, followed by commanding a small tensile load. In this tech tip, we reviewed how to use the specimen insertion utility in WinTest DMA software version 8. Please stay tuned for more useful tips from TA Instruments, and thank you for your interest.